Hi, I am Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about Microsoft Sway. It's marketed as part of Office 365, and you can find it here in the list of all your apps. If you scroll down a bit here, and you'll find the Sway here. They're actually in alphabetical order, so it should be easy to find it. There it is, Sway. And if you go into that, you're taken into Sway.com. So, and now I'm of course logged in with my Office 365 account, but you can also use this free of charge using your Microsoft account. So that's another alternative. So I'm gonna skip this intro here and show you my intro myself. As you see, I'm logged in now with my Office 365 account. When you are in Sway and you're logged in, you of course see your existing Sway present your existing sways that is the proper way to go it's easy to fall into a um, powerpoint lingo here and talk about presentation but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about sways those are in sway you build sways that's what you do so uh, if i had any existing sways th those would be here and here i can create new i can start from templates or i can get inspired by other sways that are here if you're used to PowerPoint presentations, as I am, you probably will feel the most familiar with starting from the business presentation template. So you're creating a presentation sway in this case. And start editing this way. And as you see, now I'm in play mode. So now I can go through this presentation sway scrolling it and the big link here starts starts editing but you are familiar with these topics here which are very powerpointy you uh, capture your, your audience you build interest you get a main point you prove that point with some supporting evidence and then evidently you have a conclusion that sounds of course very business um, worthy all right let's go into start editing and now it's creating my version of this template, my copy of it. So here's my first sway now. And first of all, of course, I need to um, put a name to it. I'm gonna call this Office 365. So that's what I'm presenting. Your sway consists of cards. So as you see, these are the cards. Each of these uh, blocks here like that is a card. And you can insert new cards or edit the existing ones, of course. So here's, uh, you see this little plus icon here that adds a new card. So if I click on plus here, I get uh, different alternatives. What I can do, headings, text, media, and so on. So next thing I wanna do is add a video. And of course I need to have, find a video and I can find videos here under suggested and here's some places where I can find videos and of course I already have a bunch of videos on YouTube so I can I can search here for build company internet that's what I want to do for example let's find that here's two of them actually so let's do this one the white one I'll just drag that over here and I'll call that intro to SharePoint. So that, that added a new card now within this group, the create interest group. So we have groups and we have cards within that and then inside each card you have content. So let's uh, play this now and see how that uh, goes. So first we have the create interest and then we're getting into the Office 365, that's the first one there. And then we are in my video eventually here let's see there's my video as you see that comes up in full screen and i can play that and it's playing within this context let's skip that and then i'm back into the next part of the context so i will skip out of this and go into edit the next thing that you want to look at is, is designs when you look at designs you usually don't look so much at individual items. Let's go back here to this one, for example. In PowerPoint, you, you would focus on, on each of the items. Um, but in Sway, you're recommended and pushed towards working with styles. So as you see, you can select 
general styles for the whole sway, if it's going to be a vertical sway, horizontal one, and that thus controls how the sway uh, is viewed. If it's scrolling vertically, it goes from up to down, horizontally it goes from left to, to right, and then individual slides. So these are the main styles for that, and then you have, of course, a lot of different combinations there. You also have this really interesting thing, the remix, that lets Sway change the design and layout for you, that like, basically try something else. So that's, you see it and changed the font a little bit here, and just, you know, modified it up. So that's an interesting way of playing around with your presentation until you find something that suits your needs. All right, uh, finally, I wanna show you how to share this. And it's very simple. You just click on share and then share, decide who you're gonna share it with, specific people or those in the organization, anyone with a link. And it's important to notice here that the default is invite people to view, but you can also allow them to edit. And then you can get, this is a direct link, you can get a visual link, uh, you can put it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and you can also get an embed code. So you can embed them in other websites. And there are more options here also, uh, and you can require them to log in. So that's the sharing, and that's the quick creation of a Sway. Thank you for watching this demonstration.